Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.1 on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation, as well as the first iPad. Unfortunately, this does not work on the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2 right now, and this is a tethered jailbreak. And I'll take a quick second to explain what that means. Basically, if your device powers off, whether it's because it dies or you needed to reboot it, and you have to actually turn it back on, and you want to use either your stock Safari application or anything you've obtained via Cydia, which is what you get when you actually jailbreak, then you'll have to plug your device back into your computer and run Red Snow's just boot mode. It's obviously not ideal, but it's what you have to put up with if you want to be on 5.1 and you don't want to have to wait for the untethered jailbreak. So now that I've got that out of the way, you will need to download Red Snow and that's all you'll need. And I will have a download link to the latest version of Red Snow for both Mac and Windows on a post that's on my website. And I'll have a link to that down below in the more info. Once you have it downloaded, you can continue with this tutorial. And I'm just going to show you guys that my iPod Touch fourth generation here is on iOS 5.1 by going into settings general about and down below for the version it does say that I am on 5.1 all right so now that I've got that out of the way all you need to do is plug in your device I already have mine plugged in via USB and then you just need to open up red snow which you should have downloaded from my website all right, and right here, you just get two different options. You get jailbreak and extras. We're actually going to go into extras because we need to do just boot later. But first up, what you need to do is hit jailbreak. And now it'll just explain that you need to put your device into DFU mode. And to do this, all you have to do is connect and hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds, ignoring the slide to power off. Once the 10 seconds is up, simply let go of the power button and continue holding the home button down. You're gonna to wanna to hold it for roughly 10 seconds as well. And it should automatically bypass that step screen where it tells you what you should do and it will just go into actually identifying your device. Now this is a trick you can do to bypass that and if it doesn't work the first time, you can simply retry it. Whereas if you have to follow along with red snow, if it doesn't work the first time, you can't just simply retry it. All right, here we go. Now, once it has identified your device, you will have a couple of different options and it will vary depending on what you're actually trying to jailbreak. We're only really concerned about install Cydia. You can check other options if you want. Just make sure you do not check install custom bundle because that will deselect install Cydia and that's all we're really concerned about in this tutorial. So once you have that checked, just hit next and it will go through the process. Now I'm just going to show you guys my iPod touch here. You can't really see it because the screen is extremely dark for some reason but uh, it's just basically going through the process and it's uploading the jailbreak data to the iPod touch right now All right now it just explains the tether jailbreak further and you can just hit OK to that and it is actually going through the jailbreak process here on my iPod touch right now I'm actually just going to let this play through and I'm not going to cut anything out just so you guys can see how long each step takes. And it's actually moving applications right now. And this is the longest process. Just make sure you don't really touch your device. Just leave it be and it will finish moving the applications.
All right, there we go. So it did just finish. And as you can see now, it says installing bundles. And this part does not take long at all. Once it has finished, it will actually reboot. Now it will reboot up, but I'll show you guys that Cydia and Safari are both white icons and they crash on launch. And to fix this, we will need to just boot. And that's what I was talking about. Every time your device powers off, you will need to plug it back into your computer and run Red Snow's just boot mode if you want to use your device properly. So we can just cancel out of Red Snow right now. And we want to do that so everything refreshes and so there aren't any conflictions there. So let's just slide to unlock and I'm going to go over now. And as you can see, like I said, City is a white icon and Safari in this case actually isn't, but it does crash. For some people, it will be a white icon. And if it is a white icon for you, you know why. You will have to go back into Red Snow and run Red Snow's just boot mode. So again, both of these applications do crash on launch and you will need to rerun Red Snow in the just boot mode. So inside of Red Snow, what you want to do is go to Extras, and once you go to Extras, you will have the option to just boot. And right here, it'll basically say the same thing to plug your device in, power it off, and then you can hit Next, and it'll walk you through how to enter DFU mode. However, you can plug your device in ahead of time, and you can just enter DFU mode right now by holding down the Home and Power button together for a total of 10 seconds, ignoring the slide to power off, and then letting go of the power button and continue holding the home button after it has been up. So once that 10 seconds has been up, just keep holding it down for an additional 10 seconds and then it will bypass that screen because it has entered DFU mode and then it will actually go through the process of identifying your device. All right, as you can see, it did finish now. Inside of Red Snow, it does say done. And over here on my iPod Touch, we do have the pineapple boot logo, and that's how we know we are good to go. Now, this should just take the normal time that's required to boot up. It might take a little bit longer the first time, though. So again, I'm just going to let this play through, and I'm not going to cut it out. All right, there we go. That time it was actually extremely fast. And you will notice that Cydia now has a colored icon. The icon's there and Safari works. So let's just let Safari load up there. And we can go to Google if we want. So Safari works now. And let's just let Cydia load up. And I will show you guys that Cydia does work as well. And down below at the bottom, I'll provide some extra proof that we are on iOS 5.1. So down below, it does say iPod Touch 4G, iOS 5.1. So that concludes this jailbreak tutorial for iOS 5.1. I hope you guys liked it. If it helped you out, please be sure to rate it up. If you have any comments, leave them down below in the comment section and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed for future jailbreak tutorials. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.